Hey, hey, garden gals and guys, it's Steph with Tiny's Garden. And this morning, I am out here at the front porch area. I'm ready to button this area up for fall. I need to plant my mums into these vintage containers I got at an estate sale a couple weeks ago that I showed you in a different video. And I'm just ready to have the space ready to be present, done, and as I said, buttoned up for fall. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got my potting soil. I'm just gonna put potting soil into the bottom of these containers, plant some different mums I got, and we'll rock and roll. Someone was naughty and ran after the neighbor dog today. So no Axel by my side today, he's inside. Learning a lesson. I got these mums at Lowe's and also Home Depot. They're 50% off right now, so it's a super good deal. I don't usually shop at big box stores, but it's really nice in the fall when they have these huge sales. So I've got a beautiful burgundy mum here with yellow centers. Just gorgeous. I love that coloring with the little yellow dot in the center. Then we've got one that's got both of the colors I have put together. So it's yellow with the burgundy inside. Really beautiful. And then the last one is a nice bright yellow one. And this is the one I got from Lowe's. Of course, you have to be careful when you're picking because a lot of them are not looking great this time of year, but you can still find some that are. So I'm gonna try to manage to fit all three of these into this planter. Let's take a look at this planter again because I'm still drooling over it. It's just so beautiful. Cast iron, look at that detailing around the side. That's my favorite part, I think. The scalloped and pointy edges beautiful. On the base, there's some pretty detailing as well. I think it's going to be a perfect spot up here for it too. Okay, I'm just going to get to work here. Let's do it. Sorry for the noise, guys. I tried to shower and give them time to finish up at the neighbor's house, but they're still blowing leaves over there. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Okay, we are all buttoned up here. Let's come and take a closer look. Okay, here is one side, and I'm loving the color combination. It's screaming fall. I like how this one ties in both colors that are in front of it. That's a nice look. And over here on this side, We've got the same thing going. Love, love the full look of this one. Fantastic. These wooden pumpkins my father-in-law made me and they're real cute. So I put them out here as well. And if you've been watching my videos, you've seen these fall planners transition from spring to fall and they are just still looking fantastic. I love 
the impact that these give flanking on both sides here. These ceramic planters I got last, right before last winter on sale and they have paid for themselves. The amount that I use them and the impact they give, totally worth the price of them. I use them over the winter for Christmas time and holiday arrangements. I use them in the spring for a big spring arrangement after the long winter. And then those lasted me through spring, through summer, and I just changed them out maybe three weeks ago for fall. So I get so many seasons year round work out of these. It's just such a workhorse. If you want something that'll give you impact on your front entrance or your front porch, I highly recommend investing in a big planter and using it year round. And then of course we've got our jack liners we just made last night with our neighbors, which is fun every year. And so we put one on each side and we'll light them up tonight for a little glow so all these pumpkins will be lit up and it should be a really nice evening look as well. I do have a group of real pumpkins over here at our side entrance by the garage. I'm just gonna leave them here because I like a little pop of fall here too but I suppose I could put them around the front porch if I wanted but I'm gonna keep them right here. And real quick I want to show you we've had our first hard frost this is the first day I've noticed back here that things are dead. So it's official, it's time to get out here soon and dig these dahlias up and store them for the winter, clear out the rest of the beds and get ready for spring bulbs by spring. And tulips, a lot of my pretty tulips guys, I'm gonna come back here. Look at that anemone, like a hybrid anemone poking its way through so pretty and we are all buttoned up here i'm glad this is off of my to-do list i'm very happy with how it turned out and these will stay in these containers and this fall theme will continue until after thanksgiving when i rub up for the holidays and we'll switch them out for the holidays at that point so if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up like button. It really helps my channel. And also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to follow along with all things garden. I'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. As always, happy planting. Bye.